Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, today we are doing part nine of our revision series. Those who have not seen previous parts of the series, please watch at two x speed, and I think this will help you a lot in the examination. Right. So we start with our first question. Predict the output of. Children, I have already told you that for predict the output based questions, first always predict the output yourself, and after that only check the options. And if your answer matches. With any of the option, that means that answer is correct, right? So system dot out dot print ln leaf classes. So print statement is there leaf classes. It will print exactly in the same case. Whenever you are printing any message, please do take care of uppercase and lowercase characters. Whatever is in uppercase will be printed in uppercase, and whatever is in lowercase that will come like that. After that, a space is there, and after that, on next line, print ln statement. Children, this first statement we have used print statement. So print statement after displaying the result. Result display करने के बाद the cursor remains on the same line. So इसके बाद एक space है और cursor यहीं पर रहेगा, right? Then it will come here for computer. It will print for Computer and children, if you see this for computer is printed using println. So println after displaying the result, the cursor is shifted to the next line. And here, what is printed? Applications, right? So this should be your answer. So please check whether this is there or not. So leave classes for computer application. This is there. That means option A is the correct answer. The next question: Predict the output of again output based question. Int a equals to three one zero comma b equals to two one zero. And what is the print statement? String dot value of a. Children, string dot value of function is used to convert different data types into string type. Right. So string dot value of a. What is the value of a? Three one zero. But this three one zero, which is the result of this. Is a string type, right? And string dot value of b. The what is the value of b? That is two one zero, and this is also string type. Okay, so string plus string will not add these numbers. What it will do? It will do the concatenation. Plus operator here is doing the concatenation. Concatenation means दोनों string को combine करेगा. So your correct answer is three one zero two one zero, not the addition of three hundred ten and two hundred ten, because here these are the string values, right? The next one, predict the output of string a equals to twelve, b equals to thirteen. int x equals to integer dot parse int of a. And if you see twelve and thirteen are stored as string type, and integer dot parse int function is used to extract the integer from the string. Right? If any string is uh, in numeric value but stored as string, so it will convert that to integer type. So the value of x will be twelve integer dot parse int of a is twelve, and y is thirteen. So here x plus y will give you twenty five, right? X is twelve and y is thirteen. Name the type of error in the following statement: System dot out dot println math dot sqrt thirty six minus forty five. If you will solve the bracket first, what it will be? Minus nine. So math dot sqrt, children, if you remember, math dot sqrt function can be applied only for the positive numeric values, not for the negative, right? So when you will try to execute this, it is runtime error, and the output which you will get is nan. Not a number. That means it is not a valid number when you are trying to execute this, right? So it is runtime error. The next one, automatic conversion is not possible in which of the following cases? Byte to int. Children, if you remember, we have byte, short, int, and long. These four data types are used for integers, right? And automatically conversion is possible from lower to higher. हम higher value में lower value automatically store कर सकते हैं. So first option is byte to int. Byte can be converted to int, right? Because byte is smaller than int type. Int to long. Again, we can also convert int to long. Long is higher value. 
long to int this is not possible so your correct answer is long to int which type conversion is not possible in the following cases long to int is not possible short to int is again possible byte ko short mein convert kar sakte hain byte ko int mein byte ko long mein short ko int mein short ko long mein int ko long mein right so here i have written this also for your help you can check this byte can be automatically converted to short char int long double short can be converted to char int long double char can be converted to int long double and please check this right this will help you a lot in these type of questions the next one what is the result of math dot abs q plus plus into minus two plus plus q if q is equals to three initially so math dot abs again predict the output so first we will solve it ourselves q plus plus q plus plus here it will remain three and after using three when it will go here it will go as four multiplied by minus two into Four, it is receiving for Q, but it is pre-increment, so it will become five. So here it will be uh, minus thirty. So math dot abs of minus thirty will result in thirty. So abs function returns the absolute value. That means it removes the sign, positive or negative. Only the magnitude is given, right? Which of the following is the advantage of using function? It takes less memory space for the storage of program. Yes, because instead of writing the same thing again and again, we have written that as a function, and any time we want, we can call that function. So less memory space. It is correct. It reduces the length of the program. Yes, right. It reuses the code again and again. We can use the same code. So your correct answer is all of the above. The next one. All primitive data types are passed to the method by using call by value. Primitive data type call by value and non-primitive data types are always passed using pass by reference. Hamesha ye yad rakhoge. And in your syllabus, you have pass by value methods only. The next one, which of the following is used in the function header if the Function can be called without object. Children, if you remember, you have used many times in your programs public static void main. Now void is used if the function does not return any value. Why the static word is used? When you are writing like this, you never create the object to call main function, right? So which keyword is that? That keyword is static. अगर हमने किसी function को static लिखा है तो उसके लिए हमको object creation की जरूरत नहीं होती है to call that. Right? We don't require the object name before the function name to call that function. The next question. Consider the following function prototype and check whether it is valid example or invalid example of function overloading. Children, you know in function overloading the function name should be same, but they should be differentiated. There should be some difference either in the number of parameters or the type of parameters. Here the function name is same, so here it is correct. Int x, int y, int a, int b here two parameters int type here also two parameters int type children it will not depend on the variable names although the variable names are different but it will not depend on that right so this will be treated as two integer type parameters only the return type one is double and one is int children in one of the previous videos of this series also i have told you that function overloading never depends on the return type if the function arguments and their type are same right so it is invalid agar yahan par koi bhi difference hai to function overloading may participate nahi karega but iski jagah there should be some difference in number or the type of parameters right the next question consider the following program and answer the following questions class leave static int ab int x void fun 1 a equals to 12 b equals to 13 void output s equals to 5 leaf ob equals to new leaf here two functions are given here and these वेरिएबल्स आर मेंशन नेम द क्लास वेरिएबल्स क्लास वेरिएबल्स कौन से होते हैं जो वेरिएबल्स स्टैटिक वेरिएबल्स होते हैं उनको हम क्लास वेरिएबल्स बोलते हैं सो विदाउट सीइंग एनीथिंग किसी भी वेरिएबल के नाम के आगे अगर स्टैटिक लगा है तो दोस आर द स्टैटिक वेरिएबल्स और द क्लास वेरिएबल्स कैन वेरिएबल एस बी यूज्ड इन अदर फंक्शन इफ यू सी हियर एस वेरिएबल इज डिक्लेयर्ड विद इन दिस फंक्शन ओनली इसका डिक्लेरेशन यहां पर नहीं है आउटसाइड द फंक्शन सो अगर इट इज इनसाइड द फंक्शन 
function, then it is known as local variable. So it cannot be used in other functions. Right, children? The next one, predict the output. A equals to 12B equals to 13. Like this, we have done in one of the MCQs also in this video only. So here, if you see X is 12 and Y is 13. X integer type 12 hai, Y integer type 13 hai because we have used integer dot parse int to convert the string into int type. Now X plus Y. X is 12 and plus. Plus even if you notice here within double quotes no value is given but that is a string even if it is a blank string right. So when you are doing like this integer plus string plus integer it will work as the concatenation so here it will be 12 13 will be the correct answer not 25 as we have done in one of the previous questions right the next one what are the type of casting shown by the following examples double x equals to 17.8 int y equals to int x if i write int y equals to x it will give error because double com int may convert nahi kar sakte automatically and and here whenever the data type is written like this within the bracket this is always explicit conversion right forcefully we are trying to convert double data type into int data type so this is explicit conversion or explicit type casting the next one int x equals to 12 long y equals to x int type ki value long may store ho sakti hai and this type of conversion where a integer type value is being stored into long is done automatically and this type of conversion is known as implicit conversion right children i hope it is clear to you the next one consider the following array and answer the question int a equals to 13579 like this what is the memory size of the array children always in these type of questions mark the index number first right seven eight nine so total 10 elements are there whose subscripts are there from zero to nine memory size yaha par kya pucha gaya hai memory size so kitne elements hai yaha par 10 or data type kya hai int the size of int is 4 and to store 10 values it will require 40 bytes right so the answer of a1 is 40 bytes. What is the position of 15? What is the index position of 15? That is 7, right? So I hope it is also clear. Define continuous loop. The looping construct in which the control variable is updated. Updated means either it is increased or decreased, right? By 1, keval 1 say, like you use i++, plus plus, plus plus i or minus minus i. After each iteration and the loop terminates when the test condition becomes false, it is known as continuous loop. Let me give you one example, int i equals to 1, i less than equals to 10, i plus plus and here if you are printing system dot out dot print ln. Children here again I want to remind you that never ever write SOP or SOP ln in the exam right you will lose the marks in that case because sop if you try to write in java compiler it will give you error so the correct statement should be system.out.print or println so here i is initialized by 1 i is less than equals to 10 i plus plus after each iteration this control variable value is incremented by 1 or even if it is starting with 5 also then also it is continuous loop right har ek iteration ke baad Control variable ki value is updated by one only, either plus one or minus one. And definitely the loop terminate when the condition becomes false, right? So with this, we end ninth part of the series. And if you haven't subscribed the channel till now, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. Please join the Telegram channel for daily updates. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard, happy learning and God bless you children.